veteran Turkish diplomat Serdar Kilij, the special envoy to the Armenia-Turkey normalization talks, has visited the city of Kars, after which he visited the Dorukgap border checkpoint on the Armenia-Turkey border. Kilij also toured the medieval ruined Armenian city of Ani and spoke with residents of border villages. According to Turkish media reports, an Israeli company has started demining work on the Turkish side of the border with Armenia. However, these reports have not been independently verified. The Armenia-Turkey border has been closed since the early 1990s. On July 11th, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan had a telephone conversation with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Erdogan and Pashinyan discussed the normalization process and how it will contribute to peace and stability in the region. The normalization process between Armenia and Turkey started late last year, when both sides appointed special envoys. The first meeting of the special envoys was held in January in Moscow. After that, three more meetings were held in Vienna. On July 1st, Armenia and Turkey agreed to open their land border for third country citizens and allow for direct air cargo transportation. In addition to the meetings of the special envoys, Armenian Foreign Minister Arat Mirzoyan and Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlu Cavusoglu held a meeting in March in the Turkish resort city of Antalya and Armenia has recorded double-digit economic growth in the first half of 2022, according to the country's statistical committee. Between January and June, the economic activity figure hit nearly 12%, compared to the same period of last year. Armenia's industrial sector had been stalling for years, partly due to the non-operation of the large Derut Copper Molybdenum mine. But the sector has revived dramatically this year, registering a 19% growth rate. According to Economy Minister, Vahan Kerobyan, significant growth in the industrial sector is partly due to the growth of processing industries in the country. In addition, Chairman of the Union of Miners, Vartan Janyan, told Sputnik Armenia that two large ferromolybdenum smelting plants in Armenia have been re-equipped and are ready to resume production. Ferromolybdenum is one of Armenia's biggest export commodities. Last year, it was the country's fourth most valuable export commodity. Until 2020, molybdenum ore mined in Armenia was mainly smelted into ferromolybdenum, with only a small portion getting exported to international markets. However, since then, two smelting plants have been put into operation, increasing the country's export capacity. And finally, in the latest edition of Insights with Eric Kokopian, Eric talks about European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen's recent visit to Baku, where she signed a major gas supply deal with Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev. Eric also discusses speculation around the recent visits to Armenia by the heads of the CIA, Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service, and Iran's Supreme National Security Council. <laughs>